Hey, good morning. Happy Saturday. Uh, I'm starting the day off at being M. Um, we are taking back a fryer, air fryer that we bought two days ago. Um, it is coming back because when I got it home and took it out of the box, it was really flimsy looking. So it is going back and then I think we're heading up to Asda to go and get a other one that our neighbour actually has and said it's amazing. So um, we'll go off her word of mouth. Um, but yeah, Saturday, football day. It is pouring down with rain, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good weekend. I'm gonna make it a good weekend. So, hello, my name is Tracy, and I seem to be addicted to stationery. I'm trying to sort out my desk so I can get down to study. Um, and I think my pens have been at it in the drawer and reproducing. I don't remember having this many pens. Hmm. Sort that out, I think. Okay, so this looks so much better. And I have a clean desk, which will be conducive to study. A little longer than a few minutes later. My lift has arrived. Going to football. Kyle Bennett stepping off the line there and he was too easily away from, let's face it, an attacking midfield from Carlo United. I'm back from football, or should I say most of me is back from football. Um, it was a crap match, but we won, so good result. However, um, I got hit by the ball, <laughs> or should I say my hand did, and I lost quite traumatically my nail and I say it's quite traumatic because if I turn this around you actually see my nail my actual, my actual nail is still in that nail so if you're squeamish don't look but yep that is the acrylic and inside is my nail so I'm gonna give it a good clean now but it is throbbing like you wouldn't believe but um, I take it the first day just to come and give, to give me some dirt and drop it up because it was just piddling blood everywhere. But I'm, now that I am home, I'm going to give it a proper clean, get it properly dressed. But it is throbbing like mad. If you do get a little bit squeamish, you might want to look away now. But that is what it looks like. So it's taken the top off. It is bruising already. It is painful, but I need to get it covered. It's going to make for interesting baking tomorrow, but ouch. Is it actually cut? Do I, cut is it in the blind? Is it actually cut into the skin? It looks like it at the top. It has its cut your bloody finger. Mm. Cut the end of the finger when yeah. it's snapped off. So you need to put. I could probably actually use that tape. You made a bloody good job of it, Tracy. I didn't do it. The footballer did it. You wouldn't have apologised because it wouldn't have realised. So about you. Thank you. Anyway, that looks better than it did before. Oh, it looks neater. It does. It's still throbbing like nuts, though. That looks better. But it is. Ooh. Like that, throbbing. So sore. Um, so embarrassing. So, um, I used to actually own a first aid company and we had the contract to do the first aid down at Brunton Park, so I know some of the guys down there. And um, some, like, it was actually the owner of the club um, was there when it happened, and before I knew it, he'd actually sent one of the paramedics over who I knew. And he had to radio through. Can we have someone over to the east stand? A lady has broken nail. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Um, but oh, it is throbbing like you wouldn't believe. But I've already actually got an appointment to get it fixed on Wednesday. Um, I wasn't wasting any time. However, um, I think on Tuesday I'll have to take a photograph of it and send it to my nail tech because I have a feeling she won't be able to clean to, I, because it's 
I've lost a lot of my own nail and actually the tip of my fingers cut which is strange somehow it's actually cut right across the tip of my finger so it might be a case that it might not be able to get repaired on Wednesday it might actually need time to heal properly before she could put another acrylic on it but I know I said I didn't like this colour but I didn't want to get rid of it this way this is painful <laughs> anyway a um, couple of hours before the voice starts and I am going to do some study I think that's the plan whether or not I do is another thing but I'm going to try and get some study done so it's throbbing like mad still um, so I'm thinking possibly that and some diet coke might be the way to numb that feeling a little bit but it's quite mad many unbearable hours later good morning it is now Sunday um, and I've not had the best night's sleep um, that has been throbbing all night um, I was going to go out today and get some proper dressings for it that's not going to happen that is instead it is snowing which for somebody who walks on sticks is not the best thing so however I am going to do baking I haven't baked all year um, and the guys at work are missing it so I am going to bake today um, before I do some study but oh still throbs ouch it's a quick change of plan the snow is pretty much gone so I'm going to go out get some dressings before it comes back Right, so, and in there is a so baking's done just went for two recipes instead of three um, I'm going to have a shower now which means I'm going to have to somehow use figure that out in the shower I'm not swearing at you, I'm sorry um, I think leave it on shower, wash my hair and redress it when I get out but it's just so annoying because I was going to swim this week and I can't so shower's complete. Now to see what this looks like today. If you're squeamish, you might want to look away. Ha ha ha! Ugh. How did that happen? I don't know how, but I cut the tip of it. So it's dressed, but it is now throbbing again <laughs> it's woo, woo, woo. it's not nice but that's what I'm going to look like for a couple of weeks because I just heard from my nail tech and she said to leave it off don't put anything on it for a couple of weeks so I'm going to be like that for a couple of weeks so, but I managed to take my ring off at least oh, my ring because yeah oh, for fun so it's now getting ready for bedtime um, and I'm watching Mrs Doubtfire of all things. Um, that's still stinging like mad. I have a feeling that I'm going to be annoyed with that for the next couple of days. Um, so this week the plan was to get my diet back on track and to start going swimming again. Because I haven't been swimming um, in about three and a half weeks since my back's been bad. I haven't been. I was going to go back. Not now, I can't really swim with that. So, I'm going to be getting the diet back on track, minus the exercise. Um, I think I'm going to set a high target of £4 to lose this week. So, um, I know, it's a big target, but I've got to give it a go. Um, Organise the food, get it planned out in advance. Um, I've got soups and everything made, so... Yeah, that is going to be the plan. Try and lose four pounds this week. Um, aim to get back swimming the week after next. But at the minute, I can't really go in the water with that because I can't figure out how to swim with just sticking the finger out because it looks like I'm throwing at everybody and I don't want to be doing that. So anyway, um, until the next one, keep safe, keep smiling, and uh, I'll see you soon. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you'd like to. Bye, guys.